President Xi Jinping proposes to jointly build a world services economy that's open, inclusive, innovative, and mutually beneficial. China will remain steadfast in opening up wider to the world. We will continue to work on a negative list system for managing cross-border services trade. We will develop open platforms for the pilot program of innovative development of the services sector. We will further ease market access for the services sector and will take greater initiative to increase imports of quality services. President Xi also announced China's measures to promote higher quality opening up, despite the challenges posed by COVID-19. We will support the Beijing municipality in developing a national integrated demonstration zone for greater openness in the services sector. It will enable Beijing to take bigger, bolder steps as a trailblazer and gain more experience that would be replicable and scalable. We will also support Beijing in setting up a pilot-free trade zone, characterizing scientific and technological innovation, opening up of the services sector and digital economy. Leaders address the summit remotely. The message is clear: support economic globalization and international cooperation. Aspiramos a profundizar. We hope to continue to deepen relations with China. For the post-COVID recovery and development, we may consider integrating our information system and share best practices. This platform of cooperation can help boost development. International cooperation and trade in science should be a key element of the policy agenda. We hope we can work together, building on the common lessons both China and Alta can share on how services can leverage achieving the SDGs. But still, overcoming the coronavirus pandemic is key, and world leaders renewed calls for global efforts to deal with it. Innovation is of most value when it narrows inequalities. Not widens them. This pandemic will end. The question is whether we will learn the lessons it's teaching us. Together, we must build a healthier, safer, fairer world for everyone, everywhere. China's International Fair for Trade and Services is the world's first of its kind organized at the national level. Nearly 18,000 organizations, embassies, associations, and companies from nearly 150 countries and regions are participating. There will be online and offline events featuring public health, tourism, winter sports, and 5G communications. As a taster of what's to come, the summit will be followed by nearly 200 forums and negotiations over the next five days, together with a vast exhibition area. The message from the organizers is clear: join hands for global economic recovery and don't shut doors, especially in front of our common enemy, the coronavirus. Wu Guoxiu, CGTN, Beijing.